Welcome to Potter Park Zoo, the little zoo by the Red Cedar. Since this zoo is not as well known, it may surprise you to learn that this is actually Michigan's oldest public zoo. Due to it being landlocked inside a city park, it has remained small in size at around 20 total acres, but that doesn't mean it isn't worth a visit. Highlights include rhinos, wolves, big cats, and penguins. But today we'll be headed for the back corner of the zoo to check out their small mammal and reptile collections. Let's begin. Across from the rhinos is a set of small, moated habitats that were constructed during the Works Progress Administration and considered state-of-the-art at the time for their barless design. The first one, directly opposite the rhinos, is home to a small mob of meerkats. Despite their cute appearance, meerkats are actually cunning predators. They are immune to the venom of scorpions and some snakes which helps them prey upon these creatures. Moving around to the left is a row of four similar exhibits. The first two are currently empty with one that was last home to a fox that we'll see later on our tour while the other last held a North American porcupine a couple years ago. At this point you can check out the signage which shares some history of these exhibits and lists some of the species they've held in the past. The last two exhibits in the line are combined for a group of banded mongoose that came from the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo in Indiana. Named for the dark bands across their backs, this species has been known to befriend other animals in the wild. They have been observed foraging alongside baboons or removing bugs and parasites from warthogs. Moving up the hill, we come to the final and largest moated habitat. It was recently home to a pair of African crested porcupines but now you'll find Giza, the zoo's bad-eared fox, who recently celebrated her 15th birthday. And now it's time to head inside. This building first opened as the birdhouse in 1940, but after a recent renovation, almost all the birds have left, and it is now known simply as the Small Mammal and Reptile Building. The entire building is just one large room. In the center, you'll find two tanks, the first directly ahead from the entrance for mud puppies, and the second tank to the right contains the critically endangered Puerto Rican crested toad. Moving to the right wall from the entrance, you'll find a Madagascar giant hognose snake, a species endemic to the dry forest and grasslands of, you guessed it, Madagascar. In the middle is a desert environment for Chukwala and Gila monsters, and tucked in the corner you'll find a Michigan native, the Massasauga Rattlesnake. At the far right end of the building is a larger habitat for cotton-top tamarins. The cotton-top tamarin is one of the world's rarest primates with only an estimated 6,000 left in the wild. However, Potter Park Zoo has been helping out with four litters born to Mother LJ and Father Yuri since 2018. These playful primates are known to make 30 distinct calls like chirps, squeaks, and whistles. They reportedly even have a unique call to identify humans. Moving from right to left, the exhibits on the far wall of the building from the entrance contain On the other end of the building is another larger habitat, this time home to a pair of golden lion tamarins 
and the green aracari, the only bird species to remain after the renovation. Again moving to the left are a few more exhibits for And with that, you're free to head outside and enjoy the rest of the zoo. Thank you for watching my first exhibit tour. Next time we visit Potter Park, we'll be touring the historic feline and primate building.